Welcome back to the Chill Sweets Kitchen. Today I'm showing you guys how to make this melted snowman cake. Begin to build the base of the snowman with a 10 inch cake layer. As this layer bakes, insert a flour nail into the center of the cake to help speed up the baking process. Place the cake layer towards the back of the cake board and then frost about two thirds of the cake layer. Once an even layer of frosting has been spread on top of your first layer, add on a second layer that is 8 inches across. And don't forget the recipe for this cake is up on ChillSweets.com. Once the second cake layer is frosted, top with a 7 inch cake round. Use a serrated knife to carefully trim the layers into a sloped shape. Begin by trimming away the caramelization on the edges of the layers. Once you've trimmed the sides, you can begin to get a more sloped shape as you go. You want to be extremely careful as you're trimming and only trim away small bits at a time. Once you're satisfied with the shape of your cake, remove any cake scraps and then apply a thin crumb coat around the cake layers. I'm using a classic American buttercream here to frost my cake. Once the entire cake is coated and you've smoothed the first layer of frosting, place into the fridge or freezer until the crumb coat is firm to the touch. Using a piping bag, frost a squiggly line around the base of the cake to be the outline of the melting snowman. Fill in any areas where the cake board is showing between the line and the base of the cake, and then apply a second, thicker layer of frosting to the cake. Use a small offset spatula to work the frosting from the top of the cake down. Once you've reached the base, carefully blend this frosting together with the lines of buttercream that you piped earlier. Next, use an acetate sheet or a flexible bench scraper to smooth the frosting around the cake. Using either black fondant or black frosting, add three coal buttons onto Frosty's body. I decided to make mine in a little bit of a crooked line since he is melting. Use brown frosting or chocolate ganache to pipe on Frosty's arms. Once both arms are on, it's time to assemble Frosty's head. Stack 6 inch cake rounds on top of a 6 inch cardboard base. Spread an even layer of frosting on top of this layer and then repeat with 3 additional cake layers. Smooth any overhanging frosting and then begin to trim the top layer of the cake. Trim away the edge from the top layer of the cake to create a sphere like shape. Once the top layer has been trimmed, continue to enhance the circular shape by adding a bit more frosting around the center of the cake. Once the crumb coat is fully chilled, apply a second layer of frosting and smooth using an acetate sheet. Chill this cake until it's firm to the touch and then carefully place on top of the body of the snowman using an offset spatula. To make the snowman's nose, roll out orange fondant into an elongated cone. Create score marks around the nose to make it look like a real carrot. Insert a wooden skewer into the nose to help you secure it to the snowman's face. Use black fondant to cut out some expressive eyebrows and the sad mouth of the snowman. Add the snowman's nose first and brush with a bit of orange gel food coloring and vodka to deepen the shade. Next, carefully add the eyes, eyebrows, and mouth to the face using a bit of black frosting. And just like that, our melted snowman cake is complete. I felt pretty bad cutting into the snowman cake, especially since he already looked so distraught, but I had to show you guys what the inside looked like. Thanks so much for tuning in today. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons below. And don't forget to comment what tutorials you'd like to see next.